Network, welcome back. And we're moving into our second segment for today where we're shifting gears and focusing on the West. It's going to be a back-to-back -back West conversation, but we're starting <laughs> off in San Ignacio, uh, where they're going to be having a West Fest 2018 uh, being hosted by the Belize Tourism Industry Association. We have with us on set... Uh, Michael K. Fuller who, it, Fuller, who is a representative of the BTIA Cayo chapter. In the middle, we have Talia Tillett, who is the membership officer for the BTIA. And on the end, we have Carolyn Wade, who's the sales manager for Carl H. Menzies. Good mm. morning and morning. welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having us. West Fest at the Macau Park. Isn't that going to be something? Oh, yeah. So let's, let's start off. So we, we spoke about uh, the Orange Walk Festival that was recently held through the BTIA as well. And now we're moving west. Is this a, a general uh, plan for the BTIA? Well, actually, um, that's part of our objective. Yeah. We were trying to create different attractions in different destinations. And um, this is the first time we're having the West Fest in Cayo. And it's being organized by the BTIA Cayo chapter. It will be held Saturday. And um, part of the objective is to showcase what the destination has to offer in one location. We will have boot displays, over 60 boot displays cultural presentations, also um, we will have different entertainment and of course food. Yeah. We can't forget the food. <laughs> so um, it will begin at 9 a.m. Yeah. and uh, end at 5 p.m. It's a family, eco-friendly family event. So we're encouraging people if you're coming, um, if you, we will have bags to purchase, we will have cups as well. And if you don't want to purchase, you can bring your own because we won't be using plastic cups, oh styrofoam. Wow. So, um, and that's the idea as well, to showcase Cayo as an eco-friendly destination. That's right. No, I mean, Cayo has really, is, first of all, Cayo is one of the most beautiful districts. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, um, what different does Cayo offer that you guys are hoping to highlight in September because it's, it must be strategic to be doing this in September. Um, we had the opening of the ceremonies in Cayo, we had the song competition in Cayo. Um, but what different does Cayo offer for Belizeans that you would hope them to look at during the time when you're celebrating nationalism? Well, you know, uh, when you think about tourism in the entire country of Belize, it's not only focused on the islands, going to the beach, you know, relaxing with a cocktail on the beach. Um, and so we want to showcase Cayo where people can still go to relax, but Cayo is more an adventurous place. Yeah. It has a little vibe to it where you can relax, you can chill out, but there's still adventure. There's so much to do in Cayo, um, and it, it, it's, a, it's the biggest district, you know? Yeah. Um, it, the event is going to be focused at the Macau River Park uh, for this year, but we're open to different locations in the Cayo district um, for years to come. But we want people to know that Cayo is a place that you can come, relax, there's so much to do, there's a lot of food um, everywhere, like your mom and pop shops, your luxurious <laughs> locations um, for different kinds of foods. Um, there's businesses that will be out there doing um, uh, west wedding um, destination weddings. Oh. Uh, Confetti yeah. is going to be out there, for example. Uh, the beverage division from Carl Hitchman's is on Surface Solutions yeah. will be out there. Um, so it's very diverse, and, and tying that into September, it's gearing to the low season, high season for tourism picks up back in late October, November. So we want to showcase all that Kai has to offer now to both your everyday person, but also the hoteliers, the restaurants, the bars, so that everyone can know what the service is that we're going to offer out there. And yeah. September has become less about substance and more about bacchanal. Well, we're not in the bacchanal. So, <laughs> so West Fest, how, how do you play into that whole party vibe that most Belizeans are in right now? Well, we're going to have several cultural presentations for the day um, from okay. 9 a.m. up to 5 p.m. Um, we try to contact a lot of the um, different cultures that are represented in the entire country, uh, but we're mostly having um, the Garifuna culture and the Maya culture being represented on that day. Uh, we would love, I mean, we still have time between today and tomorrow, yeah. you know, if anybody else wants to join in. Uh, to do our presentation or performance, but we're trying to um, take it back to our roots. The tagline for the West Fest is 3,000 years and counting, culture, oh. food, and music. 
Um, and the reason why we throw, chose 3,000 years and counting is because the Maya people were the first inhabitants of that area. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're highlighting them specifically, but we're, it's open to everybody. So there are going to be performances, dances, marimba playing, people singing, drumming, you know, that entire vibe. It might not be a soca music and a <laughs> dance hall music, but there's still going to be really um, fun entertainment out there for everybody to enjoy. This is also, I would imagine, a one-stop shop. A lot of people don't get the chance to explore Belize as much as they'd want. Mm -hmm. One, they think it's cost prohibitive, and two, they don't know all the destinations. <laughs> There's so many. So mm -hmm. is it also going to be a great time that I could go out and maybe find uh, a booth with a spot in Cayo that I can make arrangements with and probably plan my next three-day weekends for the next five years? Definitely. We have different hoteliers, tour operators. Yeah. I will be out there giving packages. Um, currently, we have some members, hotel members, who are offering overnight discounts. So if you're coming from far, coming from the south or the north, and you want to s do an overnight there, attend a show and do an overnight, then you can do um, get a discount as well. We have Cajal Pet, we have the Lodge of Chalk Creek, we have Kana, mm. Maidas, they're all offering Belizean discounts if you're coming on that weekend. Mm. So you can always look forward to that as well. Mm -hmm. And we have amazing raffle prizes as well. You know, um, we started with, when we started planning West Fest, we wanted to give and offer the best to everybody that was buying our raffle. Um, we have over $6,000 worth of prizes for our wow. raffle. Um, and we started selling them for $50 a ticket, but we dropped that price just to swing <laughs> to $25 a ticket because we want to open it up to everybody, you know? Yeah. And these prizes range from getting a title land in Bullet Tree, oh. um, which is one eighth of an acre, I believe. Um, you can get a tuition scholarship, 50% um, off a tuition scholarship for Galen University for their tourism program. Mm -hmm. um, one semester free for Sacred Heart Junior College and College, um, and overnight stays at several different resorts that are located in the Kaya District, uh, round trip tickets to Tropic Airs. It's a lot of prizes. Yeah. Um, and that's just for a grand raffle. Entering the, the compound on that day, which is a $2 entrance, as you buy a ticket, you get a chance for a smaller raffle. We have almost 3,000 different prizes to give away on that day, apart from our grand raffle. So it's a huge yeah. event. Um, <laughs> I know yeah. when we first started talking about West West, we never imagined that it would be to this yeah. scale, you know? Um, but um, like Talia, uh, Talia mentioned earlier, um, we have almost 60 boots um, of people. And this is going to fit by the Macau River? I mean, that's a huge... <laughs> 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 you know the park across from Hode? Yeah, that, that's, yeah. That's a huge park. That's true. Um, and yeah. there are normally fears out there, yeah. you know? Um, so we I was thinking Riverside where people go swim <laughs> and wash their car. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, um, and, and businesses like Surface Solution, yeah. um, they will be displaying a whole range of different products. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm sure Ms. Caroline can touch and that's base on I that. I was going to ask, yeah. what's, what's, uh, you're bringing wine, I'd imagine, right? There's, there's yes, of course, there. of course, of but course. But what else is going to be there? Okay, College Men's is on a whole has two divisions, and both of the divisions will be out there. Um, the beverage division will be featuring wines and spirits mm -hmm. and doing some sampling of some of the products for customers in Cayo who are unaware of what the delicious flavors of Carnage mm. Men's have. Mm. And also the surface solution, which is more like the technical part for any surface, every solution. Um, we will be displaying car care products and doing, you know, small little sampling for customers who would want to revive some part of their vehicle that has been, you know, been damaged for a while. We will be having paint on sale as well, Kaleidoscope paint um, on very good, affordable prices, of course, quality paint. And also we will be having, um, you know, for the hotels in particular that will be there, will be interested in getting products that they could maintain their hotels and providing good services to, for tourism. We'll be having products out there displaying that as well. So there's going to be a lot of exciting things coming from Carly H. Men's is that day, so. Yeah. You know, like a lot of times when we have these fists, I always wonder um, how, because this is, how many times you've done it? This is the first, first year. year. <laughs> first one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So how does it play into the way people celebrate around this time in Cayo? Um, is there normally something else happening around this time in Cayo and this is just the amalgamation of the formalization of it? Or will this have been a down season in Cayo, um, in, in, in Tainasio, and so this will actually create something, a new space and a new culture of how people celebrate around this time. 
Well, you know, when we started planning WestFest um, and chose the date, September 15, we never imagined that Expo would be the exact same day. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in a sense, we're, we're providing, um, there are businesses out there will be providing deals and, and yeah. giveaways and whatnot, but we're also providing a, a space for all of these businesses to showcase their products and their mm -hmm. services where they might not have had before, especially on a time like September, which in Cayo is a slower oh. time. Yeah. Um, so it's providing an opportunity for all of these businesses is the boots are dirt cheap um, in my opinion uh, for for any business or any local or any uh, entrepreneur who wants to showcase yeah. um, their products or services you know so it's it's providing an opportunity for everybody to um, to yeah. be out there and, and know what Kai is really about yeah and the truth is you know we're very belief centric because we're based <laughs> here but um, not a lot of people not everyone can come in from Kyle to go to Expo yeah. so they have their yeah. own uh, and there are some people who want to get away from Expo Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> they would love to be there. Absolutely. So, but so when you say 60 booths, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what all. I mean, you, you're going to have hotel displays, member displays, tour displays, uh, business displays. I, I, or the meat that uh, you said there's going to be food yeah, it's going to yeah. be tell me what all um so running w will be doing um i think some wraps and um, um they're they're normal stuff they have um, a business called el fogon not el fogon in san pedro but one in cayo um that does anything from pupusas to rice and beans Mm. Um, the police department will be doing barbecue for that day. There are people who will be the juice lab. Um, if you're really into fresh juice, uh -huh. um, they make amazing juices. Juice uh, lab, uh, I like that. <laughs> and they also do tacos. Um, <laughs> 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 Funny story. Yeah, um, but yeah. you know, normally you'd see all over the country orange walk tacos in different locations other than orange walk, right? Yeah. So we had a joke the other day, like why people know the market kayak tacos. Yeah. <laughs> so the juice lab decided that then the tacos are this thing. <laughs> Um, you but gotta I have that Kyle barbecue on a Saturday too, right? Oh, yeah, yes, like definitely. The police department that do that, um, mm -hmm. and and most of the proceeds that we're making from this event, um, it, all the proceeds goes back into the community somehow. Yeah. Um, most of it is going to the police department to help um, them buy new equipment and to make the Kyle awesome. a much safer place. Um, but also we want to use some of the funds to beautify Kyle, make the parks more um, friendly for people to go to, um, and and start neighborhood watches with everybody, even businesses now. So all of the hotels and resorts and restaurants and local businesses, we're trying to approach them to do neighborhood watch mm. um, as establishments rather than individual people. Kaya has been a good experiment and, you know, uh, in terms of development. I don't know how it compares in terms of the tourist landscape, but it seems to have the biggest explosion of culinary um, places. You have House of Haven, is it Haven? Yeah. Create House of Craven. House of Craven, yes. <laughs> um, you have all of these, you have Guava Lim, you have all of these culinary, just um, oasis. Yes. <laughs> and then you have all of these resorts. And it has still managed to not go the route of Belize City, even though it has become, I, th I think, probably even rivaling um, San Pedro mm -hmm. and the Keys. C can you just talk to us about that explosion and how that makes it easier for you to have a fest out there? Because there's a lot to offer. Yes. Yeah. Um, I always, when I describe Kayo to people, I always say it's a huge village. Um, <laughs> because that's how the people of Kayo are, you know. It, they're really friendly, they're willing to help. It's very laid back, not to the point that we're not, we don't want to do anything. <laughs> but, but laid back in the sense that everybody is thriving to do something, but not in your face about it. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have places like Crave, Guava Lim, but even your mom and pop shop, Pops, oh, yeah. that are Pops out there for, for brec all day breakfast, yeah. Yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, that are out there. And, and it's it's so beautiful because, again, it's not, you, you don't have that rush that you find in places like Belize City or, yeah. um, or San Pedro, but, and, and it's not super expensive, but there's still that local the flair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, there's still that local flair that you can find in every aspect of business and, and people in Kyle. But that's, uh, you know, that's, uh, he, Kevin joked about it, but it's a very serious issue, the crime issue, because I think Kayo is the star example of how the private sector in tourism stepped up you know. to help with issues of crime in Kayo. And it's interesting when I hear you talk about the funds for this event going right back into the same projects. It's, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't something that happened for a little bit of time and you mm -hmm. let it go. Mm -hmm. Was that something that the membership wanted? Uh, Definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, tourism is the number one industry. So our main focus is to serve our members. Yeah. And uh, 
you know, crime, if crime is high, then it affects the industry. So definitely yeah, we're looking into building a safer environment for all our guests. Yeah. And um, we have the private sector hoteliers who are looking forward for this. And that's the reason why they are supporting a, an event like this. And nice. um, for years back, we have been trying to put together an, a signature event for Cayo and um, with the support of the BTV as well. But um, this is the first year that we have a team, a board to say that they're working hard and now they're putting this into. Yeah. A signature event for Kaya, but you have Benke face, man. <laughs> Benke face, man. That, that is, you can't get more signature than that. Absolutely. But you don't know Kaya Ruse, if you don't know something, not to Kaya, Benke to Benke, I'm Shelma Panda, Shelma Panda. I don't know. Kaya. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's what we believe since people think, not Kaya, people, right? Yes. Don't tell someone from Shelma Panda, they're from Kaya. <laughs> and the, we have... <laughs> That's one of the things that we normally discuss when members are trying, well, <laughs> private sector hoteliers or any other tourism business that are trying to become members of the BTIE. Should I join the Cayo chapter or should I join the Belmopan <laughs> chapter? <laughs> um, I'm closer to San Ignacio or I'm closer to Belmopan. Mm -hmm. So it's always a, a discussion. Um, it's one but of those interesting Belizean nuances. Like yeah. we, just, we just gotta embrace it, you know? <laughs> Sorry, it goes even deeper because if you talk to Santa Elena, people are not from Santa <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's why you said no. Cayo. Uh, that's a safe one, yeah. <laughs> You'd be interested to know that they're merging the two tongues um, and they're trying to come up with an entire name for them now oh. um, to make it a city. Um, that's in the plan. Yeah. Future talks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but um, tying into what um, Talia was saying earlier, um, it's only smart for a lot of people. W when we do the work that we do for the BTA kind of chapter, it's all volunteer work. We all have our everyday jobs. Um, so we're taking our time to, to make sure that the place is safer, we're providing the utmost um, to our members and to the locals and to people who visit um, the country on a whole. And so um, it's, uh, it's important that businesses and locals who want to get involved to contact us. Yeah. Um, we need, re not only for membership, to, for us to feature you on our, our pages and, and whatnot and for you to have several perks, but to contact us and tell us what, you, what do you want to see done for Kyle? Yeah. Um, because the, the more voices we have, the more we can do, the more help, the more hands that are involved. I know the saying is, too many hands always fall apart, but not in this case. <laughs> um, and so it's smart for businesses um, who um, may not have presence in Kyle as well to, yeah. to, and who want to branch out to have business in Kyle to partake in events like West Fest or even Benke Fest and different stuff that we're doing um, throughout the year. And right. San Ignacio has been seeing a bit of a, 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 a infrastructural bloom, bloom too. Because I know the new bridge is open, which is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. And the yeah. boulevard, I know what you call the boulevard coming through Santa Elena is, but I knew that was being paved and yeah. doing done, done a first world sort of level. But I, I had a question in terms of, if I am planning of taking my family, I decided, you know, I'm going to leave Belize City. Mm -hmm and I'm going to go up to enjoy the fest. Um, about what am I looking at in terms of costing for like hotels Places to, to stay? stay. Yeah. yeah, what's the range? And is there availability? Definitely, I know Kahal Pech has rooms available. Best uh, view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Best view. Um, their ranges are from $150 a night, and that's with the 50% discount. Mm -hmm. And we also have in-town Maidas, mm -hmm. and if you're looking to go bit out of the town, then we have Kalpich, uh, sorry, we have the largest Chak Creek and also Kana. They are a bit more of a high end. Log cabin. Um, the log cabin as well, it's a bit yeah. closer, the log yeah. cabin. And um, they are a bit more of the high end, yeah. a bit more pricey than the ones resort style. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. but there are, <laughs> there, there, are, there, are yeah. there are several places, you know, um, you might, it might not be a huge name, yeah. <laughs> um, but providing the, the providing top quality comfort as well. So I'd say the range um, for overnight stay um, is anywhere from maybe A to Belize going up. Venus is Listen, Venus it's a backpacker's well. haven, which means there must be cheap rooms in Cairo. Much so more cheaper yeah. than $80. <laughs> 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 because the backpackers are going there. <laughs> yes, um, and, and then again for the entrance for the event, it's only $2, so yeah. adults or children, you get a, a raffle ticket 
for that as well. Games and entertainment where everybody can win something, not just your kids, uh, just dollar chance. Yeah. Um, there's going to be giveaways, prizes, all kinds of stuff happening. So, so what time does it start? At 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. until 5 p.m. Until 5 p.m. And we're going to check you out at that booth. Oh, uh, yes, Will you be please. providing us beverages or paint? Samples. Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> yeah. Not sample of paint, but prices on paint, of course. <laughs> Yes. All right, so all roads lead to Cayo this weekend, Saturday, starting at 9 a.m. Uh, at, at the Macau River Park, and it starts at 9 a.m. Thank yes. you so much for coming in. Anything else we need to know about your first ever West Fest? We still have four boots available. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> if Kevin? you want to be part, um, uh -huh. just contact the Cayo chapter. Or you can contact our national office. We also have the raffle tickets available at mm -hmm. our national office here in Belize City. You can contact us at the at our office at Taiwan Street. I hope the okay. referendum committee uses one of those boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Um, They're at Expo. Really I know that much, yeah. so it might be there. Hopefully, yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. us. We're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we're staying in the West as we feature Panyad Belmopan edition. So stay tuned. <laughs>